What's up, everyone? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are coming to you live on the Mustang GT on the way to New York City. And uh, some people ask what it's like to live in New York City. Well, this morning I got up and uh, I got on the road at 6 a.m. Ways told me I'd be in Manhattan uh, about 7.15. And uh, I'm still in the car, only about halfway there. This traffic is insane lately, even more insane than it used to be. And uh, oops, I'm driving stick, so I uh, got my hands full. So, uh, <clears throat> Mustang's a little loud, so I hope you can hear me. But uh, we're driving down Queens Boulevard right now, heading for uh, Queensboro Bridge, going on to uh, Park Avenue to uh, measure up uh, a job site. And I was hoping to do this message in the city a little after 7, but uh, it's still saying like 8.15 by the time I get there. So that's about uh, over a two-hour commute to go less than 20 miles. And that's what it's like to live in New York City. Um, Waze, I don't know, Waze decided to torture me today because I'm driving stick shift in my Mustang. And it took me through the ghetto. It took me through the worst roads in the creation. Uh, I'm not really sure if traffic was that bad. or Waze was just screwing with me this morning, but uh, it happens. But the good thing about that, we got to look at the bright side, right? We got to listen to a bunch of podcasts this morning. And uh, two of my favorite people had a podcast on, Mike Claudio and Jessica Dennehy. Uh, their podcast was on this morning. I don't know if it just came out, whatever. It showed up in my shuffle. And uh, some great conversations with great people uh, that are really just killing it at life. And uh, proud to uh, have them in my life. Uh, happy to have them into my, in my life um, as inspirations. Um, which brought me to uh, think about one of the things Jessica talks about is, uh, you know, basically, um, you know, Mike, uh, living your life with purpose and making sure that you engineer into your life uh, fun. You engineer into your life date nights. You engineer into your life um, non-work time. And uh, it reminds me of when uh, a couple of years ago, or probably 15 years ago, I went to Buenos Aires, Argentina for a friend of mine's wedding. And we stayed a week in Argentina. And the culture there was very different than here in the United States. Uh, there, everyone lived, um, they worked to live. Whereas here, um, we live to work. And it's a whole different mindset as far as in uh, Argentina, um, their focus was on their friends and on their family. And they worked basically just to get the money to spend time with their friends and family. At least that's what it seemed like. Life was a slightly slow, slower pace. Here, it seems like um, all we do is work. All we do is make money to try and survive in a rat race. Um, and we neglect our families. We neglect the whole reason we work for. And um, it's, it's something that always stuck with me, just being there for a week and just watching how people um, reacted with their friends and family. You go out on a Wednesday night to a steakhouse at 11, 12 o'clock at night and be packed with uh, friends and people hanging out and having a good time. And they live to hang out. They live to have fun. They live to enjoy the people around them. And here in the United States, we live to work. And it's a problem with that. Uh, we work so hard that we we spend so much time. We're constantly in, in, absorbed in our phones and in the madness and the shuffle and the hustle that we forget the whole reason why we're working. Um, for myself, uh, my, my current purpose is to move towards freedom, uh, freedom to do what I want when I want to do it. Um, I worked hard my whole life. I've always been in a hustle and you just get burned out. And in that process, um, I've obviously had uh, issues in my life with relationships that I burned because uh, I didn't put in the time. I wasn't intentional with them. My marriage, um, I blame myself for stuff that's gone on because I was always working and I wasn't present in my marriage. And when I was present, I was on my phone doing the next deal, doing the next thing posted on social media, um, something that Jessica talked about. When you're with someone and you're giving your time to someone, give your full time. It's actually worse to be with someone and be on your phone. You're better off not being with them and being on your phone, doing what you got to do. And then put your phone down and be with them, be present with them. Um, something we all struggle with, myself included. Like I tell you, my messages every morning are stuff that I'm struggling with myself. And... It's really something uh, that we all need to work on. We all need to be present in the moment. We all need to figure out what our purpose is in life. 
and why we're actually working and why we're in the hustle and why we're doing what we're doing and all we really enjoy in life and all we really enjoy in um, getting up every day and doing what we do. Um, for me, it's been a shift lately. I've been working on, I've been doing more of the things that I need to do in my life. I've been uh, driving in a convertible, getting some sunshine. Sunshine's my drug. Um, driving into the city today to go measure up this job site. I said, let's take the let's take the hot rod out. Stick shift, two hours in the car, in traffic, on potholes. Probably wasn't the best idea, but you know what? Uh, we look at the bright side. I got to listen to a bunch of podcasts, and we're going to get some sunshine therapy. So, but that's my message of the day. Start thinking about what you're doing, why you're doing it, what your purpose is, um, and be focused in your life. Concentrate on things in your life that are important to you. Concentrate on the people in your life that are important to you. Don't neglect anybody in your life. Be present in the moment. Be present with the people in your life. And uh, keep making your life better every day. All right, so... My view today isn't that great for prayers, but we'll do it anyway. Here we are, Queens Boulevard, the city's in front of us. We'll jump in prayers. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to prioritize the things that are important in our life. Help us to be present in the moment, and help us to understand why we are here. Help us to understand our purpose and help us to uh, just become better every day. Amen. So, all right, guys, there's your message of the day. Driving into Manhattan. Uh, I didn't do my ride this morning because I got in the car, so uh, you're going to get a city bike ride this afternoon. I uh, haven't done that in a while, so I'll go live from the city bike and show you around the city. Um, right now we are on Queens Boulevard, headed for the uh, Queensboro Bridge. You can see the city in front of us. And uh, traffic behind us. It's a pretty morning. It was a little cloudy this morning. But uh, I just dropped the top. And we're uh, convertible weather in the uh, 91 Mustang GT Fox Body Convertible. It's a throwback to high school days. Rolling in my 5.0 with my rag top down so my hair can blow. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, whatever. You got to have fun in life. And uh, I'm trying to start having fun because uh, I spent a lot of years not having fun. And, it's time to have fun. Tomorrow we are jumping on a plane again, going down to Tampa, Florida, to go to uh, an event with my friend Stacy Brasky. Um, going to get in flow. Uh, talks about uh, letting your life flow, get in a good state and letting it flow. And stop resisting and just go with the flow and go with the positive and just feel good about doing the things that makes you feel good. So, all right, I'm going to hang it up so I can drive here. I don't get pulled over. I uh, hope all is well. I uh, appreciate all of you. Have a great day. I appreciate your comments and feedback. I appreciate all the DMs everyone's sending me. It means a lot. So, we read crew. Put your head on a pillow every night, knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Don't inspire someone you like to be better while you inspire yourself. All right, everyone. God bless. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine.